Okay, we are live now. There you go. We're live now. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So, sorry about the delay because the technical gods of Twitch and whatever else Courtney is using for this have conspired to delay us by eight minutes, so apologies for that. Um, Courtney and I are going to be driving my 2012 Lotus Elise and I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to talk about what it's like to drive the Elise versus a normal car. And secondly, we're going to do a commentary driving. Then I'm going to let Courtney have a bit of a steer and give you his views as to what it's like to drive um, this vehicle. So with that, time, shall we get going? Yeah, let's yep. do it. Right, let's go. So I'm just going to mount this in here. So camera at the moment and then um, yep, pop that in there. Oh, <laughs> okay, I think Courtney's failed at the first point, which is actually getting in the car. Yeah, ab muscle, ab muscle. Oh, okay. Um, his, his ab muscle actually failed for getting in the car. Um, when you get into this vehicle, it is a bit of an art. But, um, you do need to be pretty fit and agile. We've got, we've got a broken driving instructor. Sorry about that. <laughs> There we go, just let yourself fall in. Alright, we're good, nice we're good. Alright, there's your phone. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so Lotus driving. The first thing you um, notice when you get in, apart from the fact it's difficult to get in, it's very low and that's going to restrict our visibility. Also the mirrors are very small and the interior mirror here, very restricted visibility, so that's a problem. So I'm going to drive off, explain how different this car is to a normal car and do a bit of a commentary drive. So the first thing is check mirrors, indicator and we're just going to pull away as we normally would. And it's a manual as you can see, six speed manual. So commentary drive wise, I'm looking at the stop sign there, so we're going to have to come to a complete stop. There's no one behind me at the moment. Mirrors and indicate and we're going to look to the right over here and we see that there's no cars coming but I have to come to a complete stop so I've done that, now I can move away looking round to the left and I can see it's clear now that, that's a fresh red light so we're not going to rush up to it there's no point accelerating because it's just gone red I think we're going to turn left here maybe? yeah sure ok, left go for it you give me um, directions as to where to go so I'll indicate left still getting my ab muscle in order oh, dear. Yeah. Alright, so we'll just cruise up here. Now it's going to be a hard left turn, so I'm going to position my car over to the right, and as I know I'm going to turn left, I'm going to be taking a look to the left as far as I can to see if there's any obstructions, any traffic issues I need to worry about, and also keeping an eye on the left mirrors to see if there's any cyclists or anything coming up there that I need to be concerned about. Yep. Aware I've got a taxi behind me. <laughs> Indicating left, so it's going to be behind me. There's a pedestrian jogger jogging in front of us. There's green, so we can look left and right now. Now we're going to use a rotational steering technique, looking at the head. And now we've completed that, we can just go into second gear. I'm going to move into the right hand lane, so mirror signal maneuver, keeping it in second because there's a whole bunch of cars ahead of me there, and that means there's no point rushing up to them. And if that you light's want, red. If you want, go back around. So okay. if you want yeah, to stay we'll in this area. Yep. Yeah, yep. So we're going to do a 180. So entering the roundabout now. We've got a green light over here so I can enter, but I'm looking to the right anyway, see if anyone's coming. I don't want to get too caught up in this traffic. So I'm just going to maintain a bit of distance behind these cars here. Indicate to go around to the right. It's still green for us around here, so we can go. But this one's red, so we're just going to yeah. get the car to a stop. Yeah, the orange, the orange is great on this on this car. Yeah, it act, people who have the same car, but in dark colours like grey and black, tell me that um, the orange is way easier to see, it's and they actually have a visibility problem. Now, there's no power steering in this car, just to save weight. So at slow speeds, it's really quite. There we go, green. So just look to the left, look to the right. Second gear now, it's a 60k an hour zone. Accelerate up to about now and go straight from second gear to fourth gear. That's a skip shift, there's no need for me to go into third gear because why, why would I have already achieved the speed I need to go? Looking to the left, mirror signal maneuver, we're just going to 
go all the way out to the left here so I can get up the inside of this large truck because I don't fancy waiting in traffic. <laughs> We're going to stop about here now. As Courtney will probably tell you guys, you always want to stop so you can see that the back tyres of the car in front, particularly in this one, because you can't see very much um, because you're so low. And over here, sort of sneak out to the right. As I come around the corner here, I'm just getting a really good look a long way ahead. And uh, there's a truck behind me. I don't want to dive in front of it, but I'm now sufficiently long way in front of that truck, I can just manoeuvre in front of it. Um, but I wouldn't have done that had I not been going faster than the truck and also a fair way in front. Because, you know, if you drive a truck, the last thing you want to do is have a sports car zip in front of you. Now, red light ahead, what we're going to do is just come to a halt. We've got the truck behind. I've actually moved my car slightly to the right here. And that allows me to look beyond that Mazda 6 ahead and just get an idea of what's coming up. Because it's all about looking ahead and visibility here. The light ahead is, is red, so we're not going to rush too much up to that one. So the left and right we check as we come over an intersection. Now that light has turned green, it's a fresh green, so we should be good to go. Coming over the intersection, looking left and right, no traffic is going to be coming our way, so that's good. We've got a slight bend in the road here and I can use that just to look a little bit further ahead so I can see a white Commodore ahead. Now I can't see that white Commodore, or maybe there's a park and who cares, same thing. Um, so just a bit of extra visibility. You see that Mazda flicked on its brake lights there. The reason is it's following too close to that um, blue Jazz in front. And the blue Jazz did something and the Mazda just had to didn't have time to react so it's flicked on the brake lights, no need for it. Again, just keeping my car slightly to the right here and just looking beyond that blue Jazz, I can see that white Commodore now. Jazz has put on its brake lights, why? I don't know why that would be the case, because everyone, all this traffic's moving along nicely, but um, this is a slight warning sign for me. And there's a light, red light, so we're just going to bring the car nicely to a halt. And again, I'm just going to position the car slightly to the right here so I can see past that Jazz. I've now got a silver Mercedes directly behind me instead of that truck. Slightly more reassuring, and I probably trust a truck type more than I drive the Mercedes <laughs> driver. Yeah. I was going to say, with the re with pulling up behind someone, yeah. I say about a motorbike lens about now, a motorbike, yeah. because with the tyres, I don't judge by the reference of the vehicle because yeah. vehicles are designed differently. Yeah. So I just that's just how I do it anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I think we agree that you shouldn't pull up really close to behind someone. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, yeah. yeah. Keep that room for error. Yeah, uh, exactly. Anything yeah. could happen. Yeah. Uh, now, it's still 60 k's an hour here. We look at left and right junction, and again, the light has gone red. We're really catching all the red lights today. So now we'll get onto the freeway. So, yeah, we'll just drop it into third as we come down. And again, you can see here, because I put my car slightly to the right, I can see between the Yaris and the Camry, two of the most boring cars ever created. Um, <laughs> and and, and that, is, that allows me to look and see that the road is clear as it bends around to the right. So it's all about managing your visibility. And the Yaris is off to a fast start, look at that. The funny thing about here is, have a look at your speed limit. Yeah, right? I know, 60. Yeah, so right? that now applies until yeah. the 100. I know, yeah, so we're yeah. just going to maintain 60 here. It's, it's and shocking. It's a left hand bend, I'm going to position my car out to the right and then um, we've got to do 60, 60, 60, so we're just going to maintain it. I mean, it's a downhill, it's literally five miles. Yeah, yeah that's I know, right? right? Yeah, okay, so what we're going to do is a rev match downshift. The other thing I did there, going down from, went down to fourth to third, and I did a rev match down shift, so I brought the revs up to um, the correct speed, then shifted it, accelerated in third to 100, and went straight to six, because there's no reason for me to go third, fourth, fifth. I'm already at the cruising speed I need, the car can do six gear, so I'm just going straight to six gear. So one thing I find with when I get students coming that they've, they've done manual with their parents or something like that, they'll break as soon as they break they put the clutch in. So they'll be slowing down from quite yeah, a that, speed. Coasting, that's a bad thing. Don't yeah, coast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's right. Yeah. We talk about that a lot with uh, manual driving. Yeah. Not doing exactly, yeah. not not putting it well, not braking and putting the clutch in. 
at yeah. such high speeds and you, know, exactly yeah, when you put it yeah. in when you need it. Yeah. yeah. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about steering hand hold as well. So it's not ten to two, quarter to three. All modern cars, quarter to three. That's where you want for maximum grip and maximum steering wheel feedback. Now we've got a left hand bend here, I'm using that to look as far ahead as I can. You can see there's cars merging onto the left here, so I know that probably not a good idea to get all the way over to the left hand lane because then I just have to fight with cars which are merging on. And now I can't really see what's ahead, so we often get glimpses of what's a long way ahead in the road, use that, so when you arrive there, I'm not surprised by the fact there's cars merging, I spotted that, you know, some, some distance back. And now it's the, the road is curving round to the right, so I've put my car a little bit over to the left, and I'm able just to look a long, long way ahead, and I'm not seeing any hazards at this point to be concerned about. There's a bit of traffic, but it's not too heavy. A few people got their lights on. Um, no kangaroos in the road. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm also taking a look behind me. The interior mirror in this car is pretty rubbish. You can't see much out of it. But, but it's a good idea just to be aware of what sort of traffic's behind you. Maybe there's an emergency services vehicle. Right hand bend now, so I let my car go out to the right, and that means that I want to be looking to the left as far as I can to see what's coming around that corner here, if there's any hazards or anything. So you position the car to the opposite of the bend that you're taking. So you're staying in the middle lane for a reason, or kind of, sorry, more to the right because there's the four lanes. Yeah, I'm, I don't want to go too far to the left because there's a bunch of cars which are likely to be merging and not, and if I'm yeah. here, I'm not going to interfere with them. Yeah, um, and so if somebody yeah. wants to overtake me, they can overtake me on the right hand that's side. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. so that's why I've chosen this lane. I'm not jump into the yeah. left. Yeah. Just okay. have the lane next to us. Yeah, um, when you can. Yeah. If it was a bit busy, I'd probably go one over over to the left. So this one here, this particular exit that we're going to take, you see the blue. So see the see there. how the left lane goes in. Yeah. Yeah, but it's two lanes. Yeah. So, so people get confused here, and they'll. Uh, like they'll be in the left lane and then they'll realise last minute and then they come across to the right because they don't want to get off at this exit. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. it's a bit of a weird one. It's got that broken line uh, on an angle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're coming off at this exit. We're going to get off at... Uh, uh, so usual thing, check the left-hand mirror, which we've already done. And we're going to go turn, do a U-turn U back on. U-turn back yeah, onto the yeah, freeway. Yeah, right back on right. and then we can go back down to Carlton. All right, so for that, we'll check the mirrors to the right, indicate, and then just come off the accelerator looking past these trees as much as I can and it's red there so we're not going to go rushing up to that. Cancel the indicator now because it's clear where we're going. Okay, because I haven't rushed up to it, I'm just going to third gear. I'm just going to keep indicating looking over to the right as much as I can. Keeping the car into third, we'll go across here now. It's a red light so we're going to be red so we won't rush up to that one either. Indicate a bit more. Okay, so we're just looking behind me now. Those cyclists aren't moving, that's good. Looks like it's clear down here. All right, we can accelerate. And again, straight into six. Now, picking up the mirrors to the right, indicating, seeing what the traffic is. Do I have a gap? Yes, I do. So, we're just going to move in here, cancel the indicator, and we're halfway through. <laughs> Alright, so, so let's just pick up. So there's a lot of traffic coming on to the left here. You can see, uh, predict easily that, um, you see that rain is moving across, going to move across in front of me. This mass is going to move across here. So I'm just going to help matters by moving out into this lane, which I probably should have done a little bit earlier. But that's what I mean. That's why in a situation like it was before, I typically choose this lane because a lot of traffic tends to come in at some point and then you don't want to be making matters worse by having people trying to move across in front of you. And you can see that quite a lot of traffic's come in and um, it's clumped up a bit and that means if somebody decides they want to get off there, they're going to jump on the brakes and that can ripple back to other people. So that amount of traffic, and you can see right up the front there, there's another car just tapping its brakes. That can have an effect where other people tap their brakes before you know it, you've got a nose to tail. So it's going to be aware of, of those things there. Behind me, I've actually got a fair bit of clear space, which is nice, and then there's another clump of traffic there. It's all about it's helping with the traffic flow, you know, yeah. your contribution to society of, of, of actually driving well, appropriately. Well, it's also a contribution to yourself because then the less, right. the less you have to slow down, the less wear and tear on your car yeah. and, and everything else. So it's, it's a good thing. Now, catching up this 
whatever it is in front of us here, so I'm going to go into the other lane. Mirror, <laughs> signal, and then the alter. I cancel the signal when I'm halfway across the lane. Yep. Um, I don't know if that's what Nick Rhodes so wants or not. All so, four, all four wheels of the lane, basically. You know, you've got the, you'll have the left tyres just in. Yeah. You just got in, then do we cancel? But yeah. it, that can change because you know you don't want to miscommunicate. No. If you're coming up and there's a side street or something like that, so you might cancel it a bit earlier. Yeah, well look, the reason I cancel the signal when I'm halfway into the into the lane yeah. is so people don't get confused and making another one. That's right, one. yeah. Now yeah. in this case I couldn't go to another one to the right, but yeah. still. So that's right, then it depends on the scenario, doesn't it? Like what's yeah. happening around you, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to move into the left hand lane here. So move it in, just let them go out of the way so they can overtake me if they want. Now I've cleared the other cars. Uh, they've elected not to do that. I think they're going to come off, so they've moved all the way over to the left. Yep. And again here, moving the car slightly to the left, we can see past the territory, all the way to those cars in front up the hill. And now we're going straight. I've lost sight of that. The territory is actually blocked, blocked my view. Again, this is a low car, so this happens a lot. I can see cars starting to hit their brake lights now. Not surprising, because it says M freeway reduced speed of one kilometre, so I guess that's what's going on there. Um, I'm not going to brake, I'm simply going to come off the accelerator and just let the car speed trickle off naturally. So we're getting off here, but eventually you'll need to be in the far left lane. Far left. Yep. Okay, we'll do that now, so take a look at the mirrors, signal, manoeuvre, cut the signal when we're halfway through. Okay, hazard on the left. I'm going to move back over to the right-hand lane because on the left-hand side there's um, some form of hazard going on there. We're going to drop it down into fourth gear as we come into 16, just to give those guys a little bit more space there because um, that's obviously a big hazard as well. So just letting the speed wash off. And we're just going to go back to the left lane. So mirrors, signalling, cancel the signal halfway through. That's a green light. Might be a pretty stale green light, so prepared to break, but um, no. There's some people coming out of that slip. So yeah, the light's up here or to the left? Okay, yeah. so check the mirrors again. Signal. And we've got cyclists ahead, but um, that's just, okay. We'll just slide dropped into out, this but one. we're back. We're back. So every now and then you get a bit of a drop, but it's actually doing really well. Uh, so we're going left here, and then when we enter, have a look, you'll see the speed limit sign there. And... All right, so looking to the left, it's all good. Now we're going to look down here as far as we possibly can, and it all looks clear. So that's great. And second gear, 30 kilometer zone here. I'm now, loving it. Life is good in a 30k an hour Now this zone. is 30 area, so all the intersecting streets here are 30. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so we've got um, an intersection here left and right. We've got a car behind us. So the intersection I'm just looking left and right. We've got a pedestrian crossing. I'm looking to see if there's any pedestrians and there's not. I'm just going to come off the accelerator. You never want to be braking or, or accelerating when you go over those, those um, bumps. And uh, we've got a cyclist on the right. We're going to clear him. That's fine. Another car. Are they going to go across? Yes, they are. I'm not entirely sure they look. So this is why you need to be looking left and right as you come to Traffic lights, yeah, turn traffic right. lights ahead. Turn right, Okay, yeah, yeah. so we're going to check mirrors, and we've just gone red, so we're going to be there waiting a while. Suzuki Jimny, always got to love the Jimnys. Yeah. They were rated pretty unsafe, weren't they? They are pretty unsafe. Yeah, um, from what I saw. In fact, some insurers won't actually insure them, especially for younger drivers. There you go. Um, Suzuki didn't put a whole lot of engineering into a lot of things on that car and safety was certainly something they didn't bother much with. Alright, so whilst we're here, um, so looking left and right now, we're going to look up here as far as we can. And um, we can't use that lane, so we better move across into this one. Now we've got a crest here, and because it's a low car, I can't really see what's happening over the crest. It's going to, well, it's only 30 k's now anyway, so it's not as if I can back off the speed much further. We're at 40 now for this road. Oh, okay, 40. Yeah, 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 yeah. 40 k's an hour. Giddy, this one's, this one's time limited though, so uh, 7 a.m. to midnight, okay. midnight to 3 a.m. Yeah. So it does turn to 60 after, which is which is okay. much better. So green, but it's a fresh green, so people might sort of checking left and right. We can just go straight across here. Yeah. That's good. Now we're at the top of a slight hill, so I can look a long way ahead. I don't see any hazards there at the moment. I see a car on the left indicating to the right, so they're going to pull out in front of me and they have done a U-turn, that's Illegal. not surprising. 
illegal, but you know, still not surprising if they indicate yes. so. Yeah. Yeah, road works on the right, maybe car's gonna pull out in front, track on the left appears to be stationary and not attended. I'm just gonna leave it in second gear because there's kind of no point going to third really. Um pedestrian waiting to cross. Anyone coming across this intersection? No. Nope. Okay, what have we got coming up? We've got another intersection, green light. It's a, been a while, so what we could have is stale green. It might turn red any second. So I'm just prepared for that. There's a bunch of people waiting to cross either side, which is unexpected. And we are going to go across this, just checking that. Yeah, I need to smoke that. Now, now that just went amber, but I was expecting that because that had been green for a long while. So I was expecting it to go amber or return to stale green. Someone's still going in my head. Hey, bring it back his car, I took the roof axe off as well, yeah. No, they're going to do back up now, going to keep going. Alright, so, red light ahead, that means we're just going to cruise to a halt here. Yeah, with the, the yellows and the ambers, usually students, they, they kind of freak out in the beginning and you've got to train it into them that it's okay, you know, you've yeah. got to make sure that they're, you're not stopping. Uh, they, if you can't stop safely, that you can proceed through and just yeah, speed exactly. up to see what happened just then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that was um, that was not great. Good but footage though. Good footage. You can use that and point it out in a how how not to drive. So whilst we're here, we can take a look. So looking ahead, I can see that my exit is nice and clear. I can't see any hazards there at the moment. I am looking to the left and right. I can't see any pedestrians or cyclists. Well, there's one over there, but I don't think it's going to cause a trouble and we don't have anyone behind us but we do have a cyclist pulling up on the left so because we're going straight ahead that's not going to be an issue we now got a black mini behind us as well now one of the problems with this car is you actually can't see the traffic lights because you're so low I often find it difficult to see the traffic lights in this case it's going to be okay because there's one underneath the um, Nicholson stripes okay we look left and right and we go always look left and right as you're pulling across a junction you don't know who's going to come shooting across at the last minute so green light ahead we should probably be okay for that i'm just going to let the car trickle along it in third because looking left and right yep it's all good just a cyclist over there 50 k's an hour courtney you sure you want to go this fast much better <laughs> than it, it's early uh, yeah. anyway <laughs> so it's just gone green now so we should be okay for this green I'm expecting, just looking left and right. This one should stay green for us, but let's not assume that because timing does change. And this one's red, now we're just going to back off. And if we're lucky, we can keep the car rolling, a little red match into second gear, and not have to come to a halt. And just there we go, and we've done that. We have we've just a little bit of car sympathy there, just keeping things rolling. It's up to you where you want to go here. Ah, uh, you tell me. Straight if you know. Straight on here, yep. All right, so merging there, just looking to the left hand lane, left hand mirror even. Slight crest, but we can actually Ooh. now see over. Oh, yeah. yeah, that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Now, on a slight hill here, now you can, that means with a manual car you're going to roll back. Now, we could do the pull the park brake up, park brake um, hill start thing, or we could just jump off the accelerator uh, brake really quickly um, and get to the accelerator, or do a heel and toe. There's many different ways you can do that. Um, I'm just going to do a sort of a um, bring the clutch up and as the clutch comes to biting point I'm just going to move to the accelerator so you don't need to do a pipe break um, the hill start there's other ways to do it again going to look left and right here and all is clear yeah. there's one pedestrian here and uh, pays an hour now. the traffic light here we can turn right and okay. take us back into the local area where we started alright so Yeah. Um, Alright, so just looking to the left, we're turning right here. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, so just making sure everything's clear. Look down our street and don't see any hazards there. We do see a roundabout coming up, so I'm just going to be slowing down and having a look at how that's going to work. Visibility is restricted to the right because of all these cars and I'm low. Now I can see that the roundabout entry is clear. We're going to go straight on. Yeah, just continue straight, no problem. And we're going to get to another roundabout here. What have we 
doing at this one. And continuing straight across. Alright, so I'm looking to the right, the entry is clear, the exit's clear, we can just go straight across. We're heading about, we're about to hit 940, so it's up to you if you want to continue, okay. or we can have a quick swap or whatever. Yeah, we can swap, yeah. Yep, yep. Yep. So you can pull over up here if you like. Okay, you so we will swap and then Courtney can have a bit of a steer. Yeah, so I'll stay, we'll over stay nice today. and local. really high to the right. Yeah, yeah. I don't um, want to uh, risk opening the, the low doors onto, sure. onto that. Right, so we'll just park the car here and swap places. Oh.